Hello everyone, welcome to EPG Patashala. I am Dr. Vinuta, scientist at Division of Biochemistry, Indian Agricultural Research Institute that is IARI, New Delhi, India. Today I am going to talk about enzyme kinetics. Under this, we will be going to discuss about what are enzymes, concept of enzyme catalysis, understanding the enzyme kinetics and enzyme inhibition. As you all know that enzymes are biological catalyst which enhances, accelerate or catalyze a chemical reaction. In a reaction, the molecule at the beginning is known as substrate and enzyme then converts those into different molecules as product. Activation energy is important component of enzyme catalysis. It means the minimum energy required to start a chemical reaction. Catalysis is also most important term and it is defined as a substance which increases the rate of reaction without itself being consumed. A reaction which is driven by a catalyst is termed as catalyzed reaction and the process is known as catalysis. As you all know that enzymes are biological catalyst which enhances auxiliate or catalyze a chemical reaction. In a reaction, the molecule at the beginning is known as substrate and the enzyme then converts this into a molecule as product. Let us see what is activation energy. Activation energy is a minimum energy required to start a chemical reaction. So now we will see what is chemical equilibrium. When the forward reaction proceeds at the same rate as the reverse reaction, and as a result of this, both reactants and products are present in a concentrations and do not change. Enzymes increases the rate of reaction by lowering its activation energy. The term kinetics is derived from the Greek word kinetos which means moving. Enzymes catalytic power, its affinity for its substrate and inhibition response can be studied using mathematical tool and this process can be termed as enzyme kinetics. Catalysis means a substance which increases the rate of reaction without itself being consumed. A reaction which is driven by a catalyst is termed as a catalyzed reaction and the process is known as catalysis. Catalyst has certain characteristics which are described below. The first one is it lowers the Gibbs energy of activation and second one is a catalyst forms an intermediate with the reactants in the initial steps and is released later in the product forming step. The third is the catalyst is unable to affect the enthalpies or Gibbs free energies of both the reactants and products. An enzyme catalyst reaction of substrate to product can be represented in the following way as given in the slide number 6. Actually, the enzyme must combine with substrate to fasten the rate of reaction without itself being consumed in the reaction. Enzymes can accelerate reactions in several ways by stabilizing the transition state, charge distribution complementary to transition state, by providing an alternative reaction pathway covalent intermediate formation to provide a lower energy transition state. By destabilizing the substrate ground state, configuration of both enzymes and substrate gets modified upon binding of substrate. The conformation of the substrate is altered so that it resembles transition state. What is proximity? The proximity is the catalytic effectiveness is increased by bringing the substrate and catalytic groups closer. Now we will see michaelis menten equation. michaelis menten equation is the rate equation for an enzyme catalyzed reaction and is mathematical representation for the hyperbolic curve. The equation is given in the slide where V0 is initial velocity, Vmax is maximum velocity and S denotes substrate concentration and Km is a substrate concentration at which the reaction velocity is the half of the maximum velocity.
Let us see some important terms of enzyme catalysis. First one is Km. Km is defined as the concentration of substrate at which half of the active site gets occupied. Therefore, Km provides a measure of the substrate concentration which is required for the significant catalytic process. The second is Vmax which reveals the turnover number of an enzyme that is number and amount of substrate molecules which are converted into product by an enzyme molecule in a unit time when the enzyme is fully saturated with substrate. Let us see the line weaver Berg plot. It is observed that the plot of V0 versus substrate is not very useful in determining the value of Vmax since tracing the value of Vmax at very high substrate. So, American chemist H. Lineweaver and Burke employed the double reciprocal plot which is given in the slide. Let us see what is ED of state plot. Lineweaver Burke plot is more susceptible to error that is y axis takes the reciprocal of the rate of reaction thus uplifting any small errors in the measurement. To overcome this issue was given by multiplying both sides of equation 1.8 by Vmax we will get the following equation. The above equation represents that a plot of V0 versus V0 by substrate the so called ED of the plot gives a straight line with slope equal to Km and intercept Vmax on the V0 axis and Vmax by Km on V0 by substrate axis. Let us see what is multi substrate system. Until now, we studied enzyme catalysis involving single substrate but in few instances the process involves two or more substrates. The example is given below. The above reaction is catalyzed by alcohol dehydrogenase which binds both NAD plus and the substrate to be oxidized. Let us see what is enzyme inhibition. Inhibitors are the compounds which help in decreasing the rate of an enzyme catalyzed reaction. Enzyme activity is regulated by feedback mechanism that is an end product inhibits the enzyme's function in initial stage of a sequence of reactions. Enzyme inhibition control the amount of product formed. In irreversible inhibitions, inhibition gradually elevates with time. Complete inhibition results if the concentration of the irreversible inhibitor exceeds the concentration of an enzyme. Let us see what are all the reversible inhibition types. There are three important types of reversible inhibition that is competitive inhibition, non-competitive inhibition and uncompetitive inhibition. In case of competitive inhibition, both the substrate and inhibitor compete with the enzyme. Let us see what is non-competitive inhibition. In this case, inhibitors binds with the enzyme at a site distinct from the substrate binding site. It can bind with both the free enzyme and the enzyme substrate complex. The binding of the inhibitor has no effect on the substrate binding and vice versa. The reaction is given as given below. In case of uncompetitive inhibition, inhibitor reversibly binds to the enzyme substrate complex resulting in inactive enzyme substrate inhibitor complex that is ESI complex. Here in this case inhibitor does not bind to the free enzyme. ESI complex does not form a product because inhibitor does not interfere with the formation of enzyme substrate complex. Uncompetitive inhibition cannot be reversed by increasing the substrate concentration. To summarize, in this module we have learnt what are enzymes, activation energy, enzyme kinetics with specific terms like Km 
and Vmax. And finally, we have also touched upon various kinds of enzyme inhibitions. Thank you.